There is a least known volcano, which is the world's most active volcano actually, it's called Yasur, and it's a Vanuatu nation in the Pacific Ocean, the western, southwestern part of it. It's very active and it has multiple craters. The craters all the time are changing shape, as you can see, they release lots of pyroclastic uh, into the environment. And the craters can erupt from any any time between, you know, several hour, several times in an hour even. And despite all of this, it has lots of lava and people actually visit it. It's relatively safe in some parts of it. But there are individuals who actually put their life in danger. Uh, and you guess they are European. Just to go and show that they have been there. They want to be the first all the time to break in records leaving a recording for the history that they have done it first. That's the kind of obsession. And uh, in the night, you can see that it's completely, you know, eruptive. It's like almost one of these geysers you hear that they have an uh, eruption of the hot water, but this is just erupting lots of pyroclastics and lava at the same time. And uh, there are photographs of this that shows the natives actually beside the volcano, but you can bet if you were a better, I'm not, or I hope you are not, that they have been paid actually to go with the, you know, native clovers just beside the volcano. This is a beautiful island, it's inhabited, so it's quite big. And the crater is visible here, you can see the depth of it. And they pay the individuals just to go and pose for a photograph. That's, that's how to represent them. But the German uh, and European people actually go sometimes there walking on a rope over the crater of the volcano, which has a very, you know, changing shape. The craters are changing shape all the time. And there are permanent exclusion zones over it. And hopefully they have done it over the other parts, which is not uh, excluded. This is part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. When the Indo-Australian plate is subducting over the Pacific, Western Pacific plate, creating a stratovolcano, there is a subduction. We have even individual structures like what you see in the cave, the stalactites. These are lava washed, and uh, these are the, actually the, the pyroclastic washed in the rain and just uh, uh, shaped like that in the, in the tropical environment. The Strombolian eruption of Yasur volcano. This is a style of uh, eruption that Yasur volcano in the Vanuatu Islands is not well known for it. This is an eruption which is quite like a fountain practically. You see fountains of lapilli, pyroclastics, you know, all kind of volcanic bombs, all kind of uh, particles, hot and glowing and molten, thrown into the sky and then landing around the area, 200, 300 meters. Usually it is uh, something like this, which is a um, paraclastic and phreatic eruption, create paraclastics and when they fall, we call it lapilli. And uh, yeah, you see sometimes like that, uh, which is uh, strombolian, but usually this is the style of this eruption. When, and uh, Yasur is now changed this uh, composition of the lava, it seems. It's becoming intermediate. It's not anymore very sticky or it's not very runny like the Hawaii or like the one that is in the Etna. Hawaiian style eruption is like this, very runny. This is a, a silica poor volcanic uh, material. And uh, uh, the Strombolian is like this fountain of material, like something that we saw in the um, um, Vieja. And the uh, um, Polynian eruption is like this. You see a column of ash. This is the way that we remember volcanoes. Yasur volcano, is, of course, is famous for having uh, changes appearance. Has a, have a lot of you know uh, craterlets forming and uh, disappearing, becoming active and again, and then coming with a period of dormancy. Then they are quiet. A Strombolian eruption of Yasur volcano. This is a style of uh, eruption that Yasur volcano in the Vanuatu Islands is not well known for it. This is an eruption which is quite like a fountain practically. You see fountains of lapilli, pyroclastics, you know, all kind of volcanic bombs, all kind of uh, particles, hot and glowing and molten, thrown into the sky and then landing around the area, 200, 300 meters. Usually it is uh, something like this, which is a um, pyroclastic and phreatic eruption, create pyroclastics and when they fall, we call it lapilli. And uh, yeah, you see sometimes like that, uh, which is uh, strombolian, but usually this is the style of this eruption. When, and uh, Yasur 
is now changed this uh, composition of the lava it seems is becoming intermediate is not anymore very sticky or is not very runny like the hawaii or like the one that is in the etna hawaiian style eruption is like this very runny this is a, a silica poor volcanic uh, material and uh, uh, the strombolian is like this fountain of material like something that we saw in the um, um, Vieja. and the uh, um, Polynian eruption is like this. You see a column of ash. This is the way that we remember volcanoes. Yasu volcanoes, of course, is famous for having uh, changes appearance. Has a, have a lot of you know uh, craterlets forming and uh, disappearing, becoming active and again 